Welcome to my channel, Planet with Maserati. I am going to be doing oh, one looking for paper. I will be doing the marker test and highlighter test in the Skinny Classic, which is the Happy Planner paper. I have the Crayola colors of the world and I have all the colors on the side to let me know which color is which. And then I have, but I don't think I'm going to take this out of the box until I label these because I don't know if they're labeled. And then I have the Sharpie S-Note dual highlighter. So let's begin with the Sharpie. So what we're going to do is before we do it, welcome, please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So I'm just looking for like a box real quick that I can just do like a quick label. This one's good. We can use that. It's not the color scheme, but it's going to work, right? We'll use the first one. Oh, we'll use this one. Blue and purple. Why not? I kind of want to do it this way. Like that. Okay. So this is going to be Sharpie S Note Test. Okay. So, again, welcome. Please subscribe. I don't know if I say it too many times, if I didn't say it. So the Sharpie S Note Dual Tip, it's dual ended. And then, look at how cute that is. Like, that is cute. Look at how they decorated this. Tell me that's not cute. This one, I don't think, says the colors. We'll see. I can't tell. It has a lot of the S note, but it's not saying the color. Not to my knowledge. One, this will be for my... Sorry for the rattling. One, this will be for my Bible. So I want to highlight in the Bible. But two, I want to use it other places. So let's put this to a side. Bring this one here. So we're going to look at them. Are you kidding me? Do we just consider it a color? Like, ugh, I can't tell these colors. I wish you would have told me the colors. Okay, so it's not saying the colors, but it is good for journaling, creative ac accenting, highlighting, and drawing. Okay, I'm not a drawer. I can do graphic cards on the computer, but I cannot draw to save my life. We all know this is gray. So we're just going to highlight because, I mean, there's no sense of me writing a color. So I'm just going to highlight. Oh, I love that squiggly line underneath. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like. Why does that look like a big old bullet? Like, oh, well, it looks, it's rounded. Okay, so that's the smaller end. And it's called, they're not even saying what ends they are. I know one is chisel. Yeah, it's not even seeing the end. It's just saying dual tip. Okay, so chisel tip and fine bullet tip. So I was right. It's a bullet. <laughs> now, if they would say the actual color, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, so here's the chisel. Very clean. So that is gray. So I just write gray? No, because then I don't know these colors. Next, we're going to go with the purple. Again, chisel. Oh, that's pretty. Matches the purple here. And then bullet. And the thing with the bullet is it's like decent. It's not the thin bullet. Look at how cute. And then let's flip it. So no bleed. So that is good. 
this page will probably be maybe the back side will be the Crayola since we did that purple let's do this one I'm gonna say purple as well or light blue let's bring it down and again I will try these in I was right you gotta go straight um, try these in my Bible so stay tuned for that video I don't know what this color is. I'm going to say like a rosy mauve type thing. It's a very pretty color. I like that color. And if you notice, the ending is not giving like a regular highlighter. Like when you stop and you get that like end line. I always seem to get that. We're going to do orange. Some colors you could kind of tell what what is what. Ooh, that's a nice orange. That's a nice orange. I hope that yellow is just like this orange. That's a nice color. Here's the yellow. Oh, you can see it though. So that is nice because sometimes with yellow is one of those colors you just can't see. Like the highlighting part of this one, you can't see. This one you could really see. So there's like two greens. So we're going to go with this green first. It's more like a sea phone, I would call it, or something like that. Oh, is that pretty? So these are some pretty colors. These are not bleeding. I can guarantee you that. They are not bleeding. You don't even see a shadow on that one. But the Happy Planner paper, that's why I always stick to Happy Planner, is their paper quality is very good. Now that's a pretty green. So all the colors are my favorite. So what we're going to do next is just go straight across with, I'll use this one. I don't know why I need a big sticker and especially Crooked because I already cannot put these things straight. So this is the, I'm just using the Happy Planner stickers, Crayola. Uh, we're going to put markers in colors of the world. And there's 24. Okay. This one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is that correct? Yeah, 8. So we'll just put 8 in the bottom. And again, if I could write the color, it will, but I don't know if I will be able to. And then this will be my last video for today. Blade was ready. We need a blade. You ever use the Cricut blades? They're very nice. Very, very nice. Dollar Tree needs to come up with a blade like that. I mean, they have blades, but not like that. Oh, this is super cute. Colors of the world. Colors of the world. Colors of the world. So let's start off with this box. This box. And then there's this box. I hope there's the right colors in here. So this one, I'm trying to see, engage it, because I don't see these colors. There's these, and there's these. So let's, let's do this. We'll put this on the side just in case, a little bit up more, maybe laying it down. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I'm going to assume this is the first set. 
or they may not be in order. That's awesome. They have the color. Okay. Extra deep rolls is the back side of this one. So what I'm going to tell you is they're not in order. So we're just going to put them back in the box the way they are. So they're not in this particular order. All right. So this is the extra deep rolls. Oh, I'm already liking how it writes. Extra deep rolls, and then I'll just put them right back into the box. Let's see the test. What? I wrote it right here, so you can see where the sticker is. Wait, wait, there you go, so it's right here. We're gonna go with the next color, which is, I'm gonna, I was already need the paper. Uh, this one, which is a very deep rose. If you notice the marker, even though that one said extra deep, let me show you the tip. Are these fine? Let's see. Yes, fine line. Okay, so they are fine tip. The thing is, this one is a fine tip, as well as this one. And if you notice, they're the same. But the thickness of the extra deep rows was thicker. I don't know if I'm putting this right, but it's fine. I'm going to put these two together. Hopefully I have enough time to do this. And then this one is Deep Rose. But do you see the difference? So they are washable colors. But you see the thickness of the top one? Then skinny, then. So it's pretty interesting. And put this one in the middle. This one here is medium deep rolls. Okay. I'm just putting them back as we go. So light medium rows. Okay, so if you notice, it's starting to get like lighter in color. When I bought me some new coloring books a couple weeks ago, you have light rows. You can see the color and the deepness of the color. We have two more boxes to go. Very light rose. Okay, so this one I would not use as a regular marker. Maybe a highlighter. But can you see even see that? It's bad. And then extra light almond. So what I'm going to write here is really quick in the pen. Very light rose. Oh, crap. I put it on the wrong paper. Okay. Light rose. Okay. And then the next one is extra. light almond that way I know what this one is and this one 
that of course I wrote on that. Okay, so that's that box. Not impressed with those last two. Um, it start once it started getting lighter, I didn't like it. But you know, the darker colors I did like. So that box is done. The next colors is they don't tell you what like box one, box two, box three. I wish they would. Okay, so the next box is Okay, so we have extra deep almond. Now see this is extra light almond. I don't know why they did that. Deep almond. So this is extra deep. This is deep. Very deep. So this should go here. Kind of getting it in the color scheme. Medium deep. This is medium almond. Very light almond. We already did extra light, light almond, and then light medium almond. Okay, so we're gonna do medium right here. Okay, so just like this. So extra deep almond. And again, you can see the difference. Uh, very deep almond. Well, the color scheme is totally different. Deep almond. Can you see the difference in each almond? Just by extra deep very deep and then deep almond is a huge difference and then keep in mind extra light almonds up here medium deep almond do you see the color scheme is getting lighter i'm not gonna write the other ones because it doesn't make any sense to write it we can't even see it this one is medium almond Trying to like go fast, sorry. This was medium almond. And again, look how light that is. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the paper up a little bit. And then the last one on this box, light medium almond. And this is where the colors start to fade away. You can still see it, but it's very bad. And then here is the extra light. So light and extra light. Okay, so that's all those. How many do we have? Oh, no, we're, we're not even done. Very light, and then we have light. Okay, so we have very light almond. You're not going to be able to see it. So I'm not going to lie. You're not going to be able to see it. If I could find black paper tomorrow, I will show it to you on there. And then light almond. So we're going to just finish this side. You can see where I'm writing, but nothing major. Okay, so that's this box. Now let's do the next box. Uh, some of these colors I'm not a fan. Like, as the... The darknesses, I like, but the lightness of it, no, I'm not a fan. All right, let's go to the back side. And as you can see, no bleed, no shadow, no nothing. So the next ones are going to be, and if you look at the color schemes, looks nothing like what I got. Like, you can see these colors do not match. Okay, so we have Deepest Almond, very light golden, light golden, so that goes here, uh, medium golden, light medium golden, deep golden, like why is the almond here? Medium deep gold, golden, 
And then, last but not least, extra deep golden. Okay, so these are the last of it. Deep almond. Deepest almond, I should say. Okay, so the deepest almond is, you can tell it's fine, right? But why did it write like that? It's probably just me. Bateman's right, you can't put it into your printer. Okay. The next one is Extra Deep Golden. I don't know how I feel about these colors. Like, they're pretty. A lot of them will not be able to be used. Deep Golden. All my paper is pretty much white. Or like a cream color. But not any dark colors. I'm going to look and see if I have anything. Medium Deep Golden. So far, I'm liking the first three. I'm not a fan of the medium deep golden. I mean, you can see it, so it's not too bad. That was scratchy. The next one is medium golden. You can tell by the way the cap is, it's getting lighter. Yeah, you can tell by the cap, it's getting a lot lighter. And then light medium golden. Very lighter. Not a fan. Not a fan of that color. It'll probably be good for highlighting though. This one is light golden. I don't know if they have another set out there. With the colors of the world. Because I'm looking for. To use in the Bible. To use everywhere. Very light golden. This one you can't even see I'm writing. Or what I wrote. I don't even know if I wrote golden. The last one's really terrible. So. Pros. I like how. They give, like, pigment to the colors that you can actually see. I'll put these like this. Um, I like the pigment of it on the ones you could actually see. I like the, the fine, so you could use it as a writing utensil. The cons is once it gets to the lightest color... Let me close this up so I can show you. Once it gets to like these colors here, here's light rose. It looks nothing like the photograph. Light almond looks nothing like the photograph. Light medium golden looks nothing like the photograph. Very light almond is down here. You can't even see it. Extra light almond is... Where did I see extra light? Right here. That's like not even existing. And like these colors, the deepest almond. Well, extra deep golden. Where's that at? Extra deep golden looks pretty good. But it's not as dark as it's saying it will be. The deepest almond doesn't look as dark. Extra deep golden doesn't look as dark. Extra deep rose, not even close. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment, share the video. Let me know your thoughts on these. I do like the S Note Sharpies. These are very pretty. These will come with me in my Bible and just everything that I do. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.